Cable tray on a roll, bonkers. This is out of my comfort zone. I go on holiday for a couple of days and I come back, you've created a video that caused quite a storm, didn't it? <laughs> it certainly did, yeah. We did a quick install of this roller tray and that video so far done 20 million views. And obviously from that, there's a lot of questions that we're hopefully gonna address in this video today. However, just let's set the scene of where we are. The keen eFix viewers may recognize the area behind us. Uh, it's an industrial unit we inherited about 18 months ago. And just let me tell you, the, the wiring in here wasn't quite up to par. And we did make a separate video about that where we look at some of the issues that uh, we wanted to solve. But there's loads of things to comment on that video if you haven't seen it. But I thought, since Gary's on holiday, and we have an opportunity to rewire this building, we do things a little bit differently. I'm the traditionalist, so as I turn and look behind me, you're telling me that these Luden top tiers are actually the distribution board for the unit. I've got a bit of flexible conduit, and you know my saying, if you can't work with proper conduit, you use flexible conduit. And in that conduit, we come out and we've got our tails. I think I'm in a world of trouble here, Gordon. Well, Gary, it's called, uh new ways of thinking possibly ways to improve productivity and that's what we're going to look at uh, during this video and we'll discuss some of those things you might like some of the ideas you may not you may have your own opinions yeah. and obviously we'll love those comments but you know start with this this is this is standard fare across in europe yeah i okay. thought we'd uh, obviously we're still friends with europe i thought we'd try and introduce some of that here but this distribution board came completely pre-assembled surge protection, all the internal wiring done, and we'll make a separate video talking about some of those features that we think, again, can help electricians reduce the amount of wiring they have to do on site and yeah, create a great, uh, I think it looks fantastic. And the cables come from here and go out to other Luden top tier boards where we repeat the same process with a set of breakers as well as the outlets required in the area, saving electricians time. Yeah, now obviously, Gary was on holiday. I wasn't actually gonna install it myself. I had to hand it over to our team electrician Ross who is pretty fast when it comes to installing stuff so no better person to have a crack at doing the roller tray with so what we've done here we've left this board here with a 300 millimeter wide roller tray uh, we're using the R armored cables I did try to find some what we call the uh, high tough or NYY oh, type yeah. cables which again is another European cable to see if we can do that but I couldn't find them in the cross section that we needed for the job so we've had to go with regular armoured cable, ran the roller tray up across the wall, she formed a 90 degree, formed a sweeping bend, taking it up to cable basket, ran along with some also some ventilation pipe that we've also got installed here, down to the other top tier unit in the narrower 150 mil roller tray. You changed direction a couple of times there. You did one where you rolled it round the corner almost like wallpaper, that being one technique, and the other one is where you overlap the two, don't you? And you joined the two together where you changed direction, is that right? Yeah, that's right. So let's just trace roller tray back to what was intended for. Right. And that's uh, not necessarily here, but that's what MetPro set us the task to see if we could use it in some new applications that we've done here. Originally, this was designed for the raised flooring system you'd find in an office. All right, so of course that's a stilted floor. We've got those sort of floor boxes with sockets and data in, and underneath there, the roller tray would be supporting the wiring system under there? Yeah, so imagine you're doing that office refurb, Gary. Yeah. yeah. Traditionally, you'd be struggling to get those three meter lengths of tray in the lift. Yeah, it would be. So that means you're gonna to have to take the fire escape. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah. And you say they're three meters in length. Yeah. Okay, and I'm gonna be struggling at the stairs, but this comes in rolls of 15 meters, is that right? Yeah, so 15 meters, very easy for one person to handle. Put it in the back of a compact van, so, <laughs> you know, drive into the city. I've already parked easier than you, because <laughs> you've got your three meter lengths on your roof rack. Yeah out the back of the van, carry it into place, cut the tape that's on there, right. and then it literally just rolls out. And then I can obviously use my uh, other favorite tool of the moment, which is this Spit 40E, and fire the fixings into the floor. You could use traditional fixings, but why would you? I'd never use a screwdriver anymore since I discovered this. Yeah, that, and then it's a yeah, big productivity improvement. So great for flat surfaces. Okay, so flat surfaces. And of course, when we're in there, obviously we're gonna change direction and we're gonna join those together, aren't we? We're gonna lay one on top of the other. Am I right in thinking there's a six mil bolt that you just send through that fixes the two together? Yeah, so the two shapes, so you'll see obviously the, the indents in the tray itself have got two functions. So right, one okay. is obviously put your cable ties around there, like you would do on a traditional tray. 
I'll stop you there. You mentioned cable ties, and that's another thing that came out of that short formatted video was the cable tie puller for steel cable ties and how well it come. However, we think we've found a better one, and we're going to review this one from Phoenix Contact. So check out the link for that one as well. Uh, but the, obviously the good thing is you don't need to space this. Right, yeah. Yep, yep, so there's none yep. of that channel. Sorry, you know, you don't get to cut your channel. You don't get to use your Zebedees. Uh, but the other thing is the shapes tessellate together. There's a word back from school. Okay, yeah, I remember yeah. it well. Or Tetris, you remember your Tetris? Oh, no, yeah, that's better, yeah. So the two sheets interlock together, and then you just simply put a six millimeter bolt through. It's not self-tapping, it cuts, it actually uses the, the preformed thread to lock them. Uh, in the tray. Job done. Okay, so it sounds too simple, doesn't it? It's easy. That must mean it's saving electricians' time, isn't it? Yeah, so Metpro claim in you know, the typical underflow application, it's saving 90% time compared to traditional methods. Okay. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so whether you're, whether you're in the, you know, for me, that's a big productivity saving. It is. Now, if I'm thinking about a 15 metre roll, I might not need 15 metres, so I'm obviously going to have to cut it down to length. How's that process going to happen? Okay, so along with this, we also got a special guillotine. I've got behind us here, but, uh, which you can slice uh, on the guillotine. You could use the traditional angle grinder or a jigsaw, but the, the advantage of the guillotine is there's obviously no dust. Right, okay. And if we think of that initial application, Obviously, a lot of those are like, say, data centers, okay, or yeah. there's a lot of computer equipment. People in that industry get very nervous about dust. Okay, they paranoid and want to sweep up all the time. Is that the thinking? Well, it gets into the server, uh, along with that other thing you'll see in that industry called zinc whiskers. Oh, okay, zinc whiskers. Well, that sounds quite complicated and technical, so I think that's a Q&A question, maybe for our good friend Joe Robinson, isn't it? Yeah, or if you know what a zinc whisker is, yeah, put a, put a comment below. Um, but yeah, really easy with the guillotine. Uh, the other advantage, this is pre-galvanized. Okay. So, so it's, uh, it's made from a pre-galvanized sheet, so you don't get uh, zinc whiskers. Okay. Uh, but obviously that does limit it to sort of more indoor applications as well. Okay. So, and that is a 0.8 of a mil in thickness, and they come in three standard widths, don't they? Come 300, 450, and is the smallest one 150? Yeah, right? in, in 150, yeah. And, and we've used, in this job, we've used the 300 and the, the 150. But then we think of other applications. So again, it has to be a surface that's smooth and flat. You're not going to hang it between uh, and expect it to, you're not going to hang it from a trapeze on the roof. Okay, uh, or set it over girders. Yeah, 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 unless, well, yeah. what do you think on that? Um, it is for flat surfaces, so we're thinking other applications. So think of possibly the lift shaft in a building. Right, that makes sense. Where you've got it, yeah. a sort of solid concrete core that goes top to bottom in the building, 15 meters of that. Yeah. yeah, very easy. Punch, punch, down you come. Yeah, it'd be fitted in no time. Yeah, or possibly some of those uh, service rises as well. But again, it depends on how the building's being constructed. So we think it saves electricians time and therefore we must love it at eFix because that's one of our mantras, isn't it? Can we save electricians time? But we're always interested in your thoughts. So the roller tray from MetPro, have you fitted it before and in what applications? Have you been watching this video and thought, well, I didn't think of that and I can now think of some new applications? Please leave those in the comments below and we'll try and get back to as many as we can.